I have 10 case fans in this system, six intake fan, one exhaust fan in the back, and then three on the radiator up top trying to cool off my CPU. I'm using an ASUS motherboard, and all 10 fans are PWM fans. And all PWM fans are connected to a fan hub on the backside of my computer. And then from the fan hub to the motherboard, all fans are controlled by the CPU fan header. And each of these 10 case fans are rated at 2 thousand rpms i've downloaded hardware info 64 so i can check the rpm fan speed and you can see right there they are spinning at about 1300 rpms and this rpm is just with my system idle absolutely doing nothing and at that rpm I'm, my system's idling between oh i'd say 36 to 38 degrees celsius all right i have windows 11 i'm just going to go to the start menu click on the icon i'm going to click on the power icon and i'm going to hit restart you can see right there i am restarting i'm going to immediately start hammering away at the delete key yeah i know my keyboard is dusty and we are now booted to the main home page in the BIOS. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to click on easy mode. And then you can see towards the bottom of the screen, you can see the fan profile. I'm going to go ahead and click on Q fan control. And now if you look to the left side of the screen, you can see that this motherboard has a CPU fan header. Channels 1 through 3 header, a HAMP fan header, and a couple pump headers. But remember, all my fans are connected via fan hub and plugged in to the CPU fan header. You can see it's highlighted there. And you can see at the bottom, you have five options, standard, silent, turbo, full speed, and manual. Right now I am at manual, and you can see at 30 degrees, I have my fan set for 57%, all the way up to 43 degrees, it's still at 57%. And right here, I have 100% of my CPU gets to 65 degrees. This is how I like to set it because I like the performance of my PC. But again, let's turn it down. So let's just go ahead and hit silent. And you can see how that drops the fan curve dramatically. And you can probably maybe hear that you just don't hear the fans anymore. But at this silent curve, let's go ahead and check the RPMs. First, we need to set the silent fan curve and save it. So what we're gonna do is click on exit. We click on save and exit. And you can see right there that the CPU fan profile has gone from manual to which I had it to silent. I'm going to click OK. All right. And with the silent fan curve, you can see right there we're running about 850 or so RPMs. That's down from the 12 to 1300 RPMs that I had it at. It's a lot quieter, that's for sure. And now my idle temps are anywhere from about 38 to 40 degrees. So the temperatures went up a couple degrees Celsius. But again, not bad. Switching to full speed, and you can see the graph goes full blast. And I'm sure you can definitely hear those fans. All right, and you can see right there, I'm getting about 2,050 to 2,070 RPMs at full speed. And even at full speed, the CPU temp looks like I'm idling anywhere between 36, 38 degrees. So, so definitely diminishing returns on increased fan speed. And so here we go again, back in the BIOS. I'm gonna go ahead and click on manual. I've kind of found the sweet spot, how I like my performance of my fans. I like it over 50%, and you can see my fan curve. Uh, nothing too exciting, but again, I think for most people, standard or even silent fan curves will do just fine. And you can see there's really not much difference between silent and turbo. The fan curve increases a little bit, but if you're an enthusiast like me, go ahead and play with the fan curve that suits your knees, your noise tolerance, so on and so forth. 